No, 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 you're good, bro. You you're sure? Good. No, 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 I'm not. I've seen this a million times. You're good, bro. Please. I promise, you're good. You want me to get in with you? I'll get in with you. Hold on. Look, look, look. Jump Hold me slowly until I float. Okay, okay. Let go. Let go. Let go. You got the life jacket on, man. Ah! You're good. You're good. No, 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 no. You're good. You're floating. You're good. No. You're good. Hold you're good. floating right now. Okay, hold on to the fish. It's he floats. <laughs> there you go. No. Ah! So I managed to find the single greatest VR experience of all time the other day, on accident, and of course, it's a Pavlov custom map. Oh, hold on, realistically, wouldn't it already be loaded with powder and everything you could search on? I guess, but like, how do you light it? <laughs> Essentially, some genius decided to try and port Holdfast into VR through the medium of Pavlov. And I say genius in the most honest sense of the word. This map is stupid, stupid, stupid fun. This is scuffed beyond measure. Napoleonic Warfare is by far the dumbest way humanity has ever tried solving a problem. Musket gunfights are just intrinsically hilarious, and it's so perfect in VR for that reason. Trumpy, no! Trying to reload a musket under fire in the open battlefield with everyone screaming and dying around you also trying to manually reload their musket is truly fantastic. What? Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, no, wait, I have it loaded, I have it loaded, I have it loaded, I have it loaded, ah, ah, ah. Sorry, I haven't eaten. <laughs> Stand down, you rapscallion. Dang it. Don't shoot till you see the whites of their pajamas. It's very easy to lose yourself in it. It's only now, as I'm here editing this, that I realize I probably have a solid hour of me talking like this. Come and get us, you picking an ease. And while all of this is happening, the band kids in the back are just going ham on the drums and the fife. <laughs> we have literally every instrument going. <laughs> Stay away. Kill him with the music. Stay me. Stop it. No! At the start of the game too, marching into battle initially to the beat of the drum with one shot to your name is just the best feeling in the world. It's war, but with style and manners and etiquette and class, all of which serve absolutely no purpose. All right, hold the line. Hold the line. And I hate to out myself like this, but nine times out of 10, I'm the band kid. This is so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> ah, they're just missing me. You can pick up a drum, a fife, there's bagpipes. You can carry the flag into battle because that's important. Gotta make sure you waste at least a few good soldiers to hold a stick with pretty colors of cloth at the end of it. Wait, is that the white flag of surrender? Get that out of here, Prumpy. We haven't even tried. No. You can even smoke a pipe if you want to. Let's kill some Frenchmen. Just like all the Call of Duty Zombies content and the Halo maps, I do not understand how all of this is just in Pavlov. But here it is. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm leaving. Yeah, you bet you're leaving. The Halo map especially blew my mind because you could actually become a Spartan. But that was just red Mark V Spartan or blue Mark V Spartan. Those were the only skins. But this map not only has different skins, but you can choose between them too. All right, DJ, you're the commander because you have the cool hat. You can change your, how is this a thing? There's a good four or five different skins in this one map that all look great. You've got your army grunts, your captains, your band kids, SCP-049, and a surgeon who's definitely just wearing pajamas. <laughs> what are you wearing, Frumpy? Pair those with not just the musket, but also flintlock pistols, and the saber, and the instruments, and the pipe, and it turns into a Ken Burns documentary on crack. But to, to use this thing, you gotta pull out a ball, put it in the, the oh. I thought put it in the end. We're under fire, put it in your mouth! <laughs> Hang on, I got you, I got you, I got you. Here, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Put the ball in the flintlock thing? Oh, you do! Oh, okay, and then you ramrod. And then you ramrod. It's under the barrel! Yeah, oh, the pipe's in my mouth! The pipe's in my mouth! The pipe's in my mouth! Wait, I think it's loaded. Oh, it was loaded! Pause. Here's the time code to continue the video. 
feel free to just go there. All I have to do now is say my tier three channel members names with reverb on and Skyrim music in the background because of an unintentional blood pact I signed when I wanted to do one live stream on YouTube before I realized that Twitch was a thing. Last week we got down to 14 people and I was assuming that that was the beginning of the end of this curse, uh, but it's going back up now. Uh, so I guess not. So... Runa, Archer, It's a Hobbit, Spastic Ninja, David S, New Mono, Tramela, Bubba Bubba, Screw Happy, Christian Official, The Current Spirit, Krieger925, This is no way E, Upside Down Demon Letters. Your toasters preferred something. JJ, Straight to Brazil. Wow, welcome back Straight to Brazil. And Hod Towered. Hod Towered. Fa wow. The famed lead designer of of the Bezda same Gudios. I, I need sleep. To each and every one of you, I want you to know uh, that you smell fantastic. You really do. You smell so good. And you should you should be proud. Sure. This map is just great. Even in the state it's in now, it took me a bit to realize it's still being worked on. It's a work in progress. It will get even better, allegedly. But even now, you can change your skin, you can turn yourself into a porcupine using eight separate sabers, and, in true Napoleon fashion, you can decimate British soldiers with working cannons. Oh jeez, they're shooting the cannon at us. They're shooting the cannon at us. No, no, we're losing men. Move forward, men. Oh, we have cannon support. We have cannon support! We're invincible! Alright, now it's personal. I kinda wish the cannons were only on the French side. It's not like they help that much anyways. It's hard to physically aim a life-size 3D model of a 15th century cannon. But I'm pretty sure Napoleon only got famous because he just always had the good cannons, right? The French lost every battle they fought without cannons. Isn't that the meme? The history meme? I have no idea if that's actually true or not. This is just something my friend Tyler told me like three years ago that my brain accepted as fact instantly. And it would be funny if only the French had the cannons. And it's not like it would be that much of an advantage anyway. Why am I spending so much time on this? Oh no. I just watched everyone get shot with a cannon. There we go, there we go. Oh, the cannon. Oh, that cannon's getting close. We gotta take out that cannon. They're gonna recalibrate, it's gonna blow right into him. Please, someone make a 40 person server of this map. It would be instantly the best Pavlov server in the game. Two lines of 20 soldiers each marching at each other sounds so ridiculously fun. I would stream that for hours at a time, and I'm pretty sure plenty of others would too. Even with just five to a team, pushing up towards the enemy base with the music blaring in the background and everyone trying to kill each other with technology from hundreds of years ago is so, so, so much fun. He's surrendering, boys. There's no such thing as surrender in the French army. Other than that though, that's all I got. It feels so good to be back from vacation and not just as Trash Panda 69 Gaming Gaming. If that last sentence made no sense to you, no worries. I'm just happy you're here. Like this video if you feel like it, but love yourself even if you feel nothing anymore. I hope something good happens to you today, you abstract idea in my head of who might be out there listening to this. And if you give me the privilege of your time again, I will see you uh, hopefully on Twitch, with two 14th century battalions of 20 soldiers each going at it in the derpiest Crash Course history video ever made. Sure. Okay. Goodbye! Alright. I've got the mega pipe. This is the best thing I've ever done in VR.